Hey, what's really good, guys? Welcome back. I'm still is back. I had to do this one for you. Know I'm saying I didn't even know if I did it before, but here I go. 2000 shit. This is a Q7, by the way. Right, 2009 Q7. My bad. This is how you open the hood. Just pull it towards you, just like that. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Let's do this back to this uh, this Q7 has 99,000 miles okay just so you know and we're gonna do the oil change and our oil life reset just 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 for those that had this car and think about having this car uh, and if you have it put in the comment box what you think about this how you like it and all that don't forget to distract distract the uh, subscribe button do the same with the like button break that bell button and the feedback put in the comment box all right the latch is right here on top just push it up you don't need to kick a stand or nothing like that v8 4.2 fs fsi Engine oil cap. Oil dipstick. Get this shit. So when you check the oil, it's supposed to be right here. All right. Factory label. So you come down here. I'm gonna remove this cover. There's like a 10 millimeter socket. One, two, three, four. And then we we'll go from there. Alright, guys, so. It's up to you if you want to remove both. But um, the main guy is this one, this cover. Then you come here with the six Allen and the extension six inches if you want to. You don't you don't need to, but okay. Then there's there's your oil drain plug. All right, there you go. Now any other Audi is gonna start leaking, so you know what comes next. I'm gonna come up and probably I'm gonna get a splash, but thank you to Audi for these beautiful designs. So watch out, okay? My splash on you and shit. There you go. There you go. There you go. Who give you those angles? Me. Nobody else is gonna give you these shots, bro. All right. Okay. Just gonna let it drain for a minute. People say at least let it drain for five minutes. You can do that if you want to. Let it drain all night long, if you might. If you that freak. All right. All right, once you drain most of the oil, Pull your oil, oil drain plug back. Tight that shit or it's gonna leak. I think it's leaking from the uh, oil pan gasket. I don't know, we'll see, but I'm gonna leave that for a different uh, video. So now, once you drain the oil and all that shit, I almost lost my eye, my left eye with this fucking car. Believe it or not, you sh you're gonna be like, how are you gonna lose your your eye with this car while you do oil change well i was trying to put the fucking screws back to hold the cover underneath and this shit dropped on my fucking eye believe it or not I, um that's what i'm saying all the time wear fucking safety goggles safety glasses whatever you want to call it now we come to the top we're gonna 
that's where the oil filter is. Okay. There you go. Now we're gonna remove that shit, change it. I'll show you how to do it. In the meanwhile, this is the new oil filter. There's a part number 079198405E. Okay, made by however you pronounce that. You probably seen that brand before. Uh, we're gonna remove that. Uh, we're gonna replace the oil filter right there. This is why I bought this uh, set. It's nine, uh, seven piece of low profile socket. This is fuel, 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 uh, fuel filter socket set. I use it more for uh, this type of uh, oil filter. So this one is gonna be 32 millimeter. Okay. That's the part number. That's a brand. 32 millimeter. Just put it there. Uh, this is 3 eighth, by the way. Oh, you can get this on Amazon. Okay. I'm really pissed off at this car. So much fucking trouble for the fucking oil change. But hey, someone gotta do it, right? I think it's loose enough. So I'm just gonna do it by hand. You see, you know the vibes. Uh, right there. Uh... Fuck it, just flip it. Just like that. It comes with that shit on top. I'm gonna leave it there so it drains. So if you come over here, you see that hole? That's where that uh, uh, part is gonna go. On that hole. Let me see the new uh, oil filter real quick. This go at the bottom. This go like this, and this thing is gonna go right there in that hole. Okay. This part. Got an old ring gasket. That's the old ring you're gonna change. This one right here. Okay. This motherfucker right here is gonna be a bitch to remove it from this guy. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, uh, just gonna drop it in there. Just make sure that thing goes in that hole, like I told you. Turn it around and then you see. Now put this shit back on top. Screw it, tight it. Okay, that's pretty much it. Tied it. Well, you know what? The other way is just push the filter in the housing, the plastic thing, okay? In the plastic thing. Push the filter in the plastic thing. It's gonna, it's gonna require some strength, okay? So you're gonna put the plastic like this, put the filter, push it down, it's gonna click. You're gonna need some, uh, some pressure in there, okay? Just do it by by hand, pretty much. All right, fucking car. All right, for this car, I'm gonna pour 9.7 quarts of uh, da -da -da -da, Father Real 30 full synthetic, okay? 9.7 quarts. You can you can do a uh, nine and a half. I'm gonna do nine and a half and then see, you know, check the level. And if I need a little bit more, I top it off. Nine quarts first. Uh, that's with a new oil filter, by the way. Okay, don't play with me. Uh, so I'll put a nine and a half quarts 5W30 synthetic. Pretty much the fuck this shit goes now. Am I lost? Yeah, put the shit back in there. I'm gonna let it run for a minute uh, while I check the oil fluids. You know the deal. Mm. 
It'll run for a minute. Alright. Oh, it's supposed to be right here, okay? I'm gonna take the level. Nine and a half. I need to tap it off a little bit more. Let's see. I put that much. It was nine and this much. Ah, let's see now how it looks like. Because this is nine and, and point seven. It look good right there, but I'm gonna put the whole bottle because I, I, I want it to be right there. There you go. Better now. Practically, I put 10 quarts. So it's up to you if you want to put nine and a half, nine point seven, or ten quarts. All right, it's still good. All right, guys, I hope you liked the video how to uh, do the uh, oil change in this uh, 2009 Q7 Audi 4.2. So at the end, I poured nine. You you can say ten quarts of five W30 synthetic, full synthetic. The book says 9.7 quarts of uh, full synthetic 5W30. Um, so it's up to you, like I said before. You can pour 9.5, 9.7, or 10 quarts. All right? It's still good. So don't worry about it. Now here, I'm going to show you real quick how to do the oil life uh, reset. Just come over here, press car. It's gonna take you over there. Now with this, you scroll down or up. That's what you're gonna do, scroll down. Service interval, go over there. Press, you press this, like, this is like, okay. Right there, all right. So it says, net uh, service in 4,000 miles. That's pretty much it, all right. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna show you how to do the oil life reset in this video. I'm really pissed off at this car, yo. <laughs> I, just, I just gotta let it go. I, I hope you like this video, all right? And uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comment box. If you know how to reset it, please let me know in, in, in the in the comment box, all right? I'm not gonna do it now. I'm really like, I I, I got enough of this car, but uh, hopefully it help you, okay? And I see you in the next one. I let your boy. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. Destroy the bell. So every time I upload a new content, uh, it's going to let you know that uh, um, uh, there's something new to watch. Okay? So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. I let your boy. A stool. Burung. I'm out.